Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team I am super excited about and it's going to be all based around Perish Trap, Perish Song, and as you can see the team is on your screen in front of you. As always there will be a poker paste down in the description below and a rental team at the end of the episode, so do stick around for that. We'll play a couple of games to pilot the team, showcase it a little bit, show you how it works, and then obviously you can go away and try it out for yourself. Yourself. But as you can see, the team on your screen right now consisting of Gothitelle, the Alolan Marowak, uh, Moongus, the Gotharita, the Scrafty, and Azumarill. Is it Gotharita or is it? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's the pre evolution of Gothitelle, and it has the Eviolite -like there. It's our second Shadow Tag Pokemon that we've uh, got available to us in the, tr the team just to keep that, that trap going because Shadow Tag acts. Uh, as an ability it traps in the opponent it, it doesn't allow them to switch so if we can get the perish song set up next to that trap it means they're not able to switch out and if we can stall it out long enough we can take down their pokemon without touching them at all now perish trap is one of my favorite archetypes i don't think it was really that viable uh in series 5 or any of the previous uh series up to now but with a lot of the hard hitters and big kind of pokemon going out on that ban list Coming into Series 6, I think it gives a lot of room now for things like Gothitelle to perform a little bit better. And we are seeing an increase in its rise of usage stats. So that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So I think it's going to be a lot of fun today. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys, if you try the team out, obviously, let me know down in the, the comment section below. And uh, we'll just jump into it straight away, have a couple of games and see how we can get on with it. Obviously, the premise is trap our opponents in, get something like a Lola Marowak or a Zumarill out onto the field, get the Perish Song set up as soon as possible, try and get our Trick Room set up as well, and uh, go from there. It's, um, okay, we've got our first opponent up straight away, Kuti, um, playing a team of Dusclops, uh, Hatterene, uh, Renulicliss, the Volcarona, Dracozolt, and Duraludon. So, um, okay, well, I don't mind this too much. I mean, do we need a trick room? Maybe not. Um, we definitely want a Perish Song as soon as possible, though. I feel like Marowak is a really good lead here for us with Gothitelle, to be honest. Like, we could just go for Fake Out and Perish turn one and then try and stall them out that way. I do worry a little bit about the uh, the Hatterene. Um, have I got room for a Zoomerail here? Maybe. Maybe not, though. Let's go Scrafty and Gotharita. It is Gotharita. There we go. I did get it right. Okay. I'm, I'm not too worried. Now, it's such a weird team because primarily through Sword and Shield with the Dynamax mechanic, you're kind of building teams with at least a Dynamax Pokemon in mind. Now, I built this team completely without any thought of... I'm not like I don't have an idea of I'm ever going to Dynamax a Pokemon. There might be situations where I may want to late game where the Perish song is set up and I think okay the extra bulk will be nice if we Dynamax here or give us the the turns that we need to stall out our Pokemon. So you know even though it kind of acts against you in some respects where your opponent can get set up, it does kind of help you out as well. Uh, we do need to be careful about the Renewal Place here. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll go for the Fake Out into the Nudicus and we will just we'll just set the perish perish up straight away um, and start the count. Um, I don't really want the Renulicus chucking a, a Shadow Ball into Marowak. The problem is obviously with Fake Out support here, uh, with the ability to Dynamax, they could Dynamax the Renulicus right now and just go for a huge uh, attack into Marowak, which wouldn't be good. But we're not going to see that. Thankfully, they're going to try and get their Trick Room up. I feel uh, we do see the Struggle Bug, which don't mind at all. You know, the, the one thing about Perish Song is it doesn't care about, um, it, like, it doesn't care at all about damage. Your your main goal is just clicking the Perish Song button, and then it's all about trying to outmaneuver your opponent. Uh, it's not about getting damage onto the board. Uh, it's not about attacking physical attacks, special attacks, or anything like that. It's just trying to maneuver for three turns around what your opponent is trying to do. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll just protect Gothitelle here. Um, and I feel like I need to really preserve Marowak because I think the one thing that we've got to worry about with Marowak is it's a primary Perish Song Pokemon. So to make real use of this, we're going to need to have it around for uh, the next turn. And you know what we could do, actually? We could just protect, protect here rather than switch. Protect, protect, I think is a better play. 
because I don't see that. I see them going for the trick room now. Um. Yeah, and we'll see what my opponent does. I'm probably they're going heat wave, trying to get damage out now. Um, and we'll see the trick room. I think now that ooh expanding force, huh? So they're not even going to set the trick room up, which is a little bit of a worry because I think the one thing that got more, more concerning to me over anything else is them getting their trick room set up because it may hinder our ability to uh, to get the damage we like get the position that we need Marowak in next turn um, to get the trick room set up. Now I'm I'm I am mindful. Mm, do we go for? Do we switch the Gothitelle out here? I definitely want to switch Marowak out because we've got to, like I say, keep that Perish song um, going. I think we could just go for a Psychic into Goth into Volcarone here. Just we could go for a double protect, um, but I don't think there's any need to. And I don't really worry too much about Gothitelle going down with Gotharita in the back because uh, we've got that second trap. We need to preserve our Marowak. Now the thing is here, Scrafty will take the hit. And then it's going to get pushed straight out with the eject button. So it does mean this is quite nice in situations where you've got a phys like physical threats on the field where you can bring it in. Um, Scrafty avoids. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Uh, the psychic coming out. And we should take the expanding force. If that's what they go for, they may go. They have, yeah. And it's not really going to do too much to Gothitelle either. So everyone's perish drops to one count. So uh, this next turn, uh, we can actually decide to sack Gothitelle if we want or we can bring in Gotharita. I think we'll bring in Gotharita here uh, and we'll go for a fake out into the Volcarona. I'm not too worried about the Renelicus. I think if it had Shadow Ball it would have went for it by now. It would have made sense to go into the, the Marowak with it um, and it, it would have made sense to go into the Gothitelle with it because I think you, you target the Gothitelle hard to get rid of the trap. Um, so we'll get that fake out. Don't really care if we get burned either, to be honest. Uh, like like we are. We're, like I say, we're not worried about the damage output. It's the utility of the Pokemon that we've got. Focus Blast coming out. <laughs> there we go. It actually makes contact as well. Not going to be enough to take Scrafty down, but puts us in a really nice position this next turn to get Marowak back onto the field now. Not going to take any damage because both my opponents have attacked. Um, and then we're in a great position this next turn to get Marowak's Perish Song um set up once again and then go from there so you can see there's a first perish ending on the volcarona making easy easy work of that and the renewlicus and um then we've got it'd be you know we do have fake out support as well from the the gotharita as well so we can make use of that we've just got to be a bit mindful that whatever comes in next uh from my opponent will be able to max and if it's a hat you've got to imagine that might be the thing that does although it is the draco's alt okay uh, which we don't worry about too much. And the Duraladon. Okay. So I think what we're going to do now is play a cheeky game of Ally Switch. <laughs> and I know what you're all thinking. I'm not the biggest advocate of Ally Switch. But I think it's a tool that you probably need uh, with Perish Song. Um, in some situations, it does create the ability to allow you to um, not get tanked so hard. Now, I think if you're Duraludon here, I think you go after the Marowak because you know that's the Pokemon with Perish Song. So if you can get rid of the Perish Song, you can pretty much win this game. Now, this is where the Ally Switch comes in here very handy. Although, <coughs> Stalwart is a bit of an awkward, uh, an awkward ability, isn't it? So, um, <laughs> we may not be able to do it anyway. Uh, we'll try. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. They may have just targeted the, uh, the, the, Goth the Gotharita. High horsepower coming in. Okay, so that's perfect. And Max Wormund. Okay, so we hopefully do take this. Yeah, we do take it. Okay, so that's perfect. I mean, I've got a very bulky Marowak. You'll be able to see from the Poker Pace what the bulk's like on these Pokemon. And I think the bulk is massively important. Now we're in a great spot. We are in an absolutely amazing spot. We get a Perish Song up. We can just protect this next turn. Then the turn after that, we switch out. If we take knockouts, we take knockouts. But the game is pretty much over now because they just aren't going to have the firepower to uh, to take these two Pokemon down this turn without some major RNG um, luck 
here. You're going to need a crit into the Marowak. You're definitely not going to take down both Pokemon here. So we're in a great position. We've still got four Pokemon. And this is really ideally where you want to be with Perish. And you can see my opponent knows it's, it's going to be over. So there's the, uh, the battle cancelled. And my opponent was pretty highly ranked you know they were like 397th on the ladder so it's not like they've got uh, a team to to just say oh well we didn't go up against a great opponent they're obviously doing super well at the minute and i mean perish best of one as well is way more powerful than perish uh, best of three of course because your opponent has in a best of three time to adjust a little bit and um, kind of make a game plan against what you do and a lot of the time in perish with best of one is you're taking them catching them off guard really um, and if they get their leads wrong a lot of the time it's it's almost too late at that point so we'll see what my next opponent does they are bringing a team of comfy gothitel urshifu um lapras Drickazolt and Talonflame and I'm pleased with playing Urshifu in this second game because Urshifu along with Dynamax that I mentioned earlier it's a little bit problematic for Perish Trap. Urshifu is definitely a Pokemon that causes a lot of issues for Perish Trap because uh, of its ability where it can hit through Protect so you haven't got the ability to always stall as well as you maybe want to be able to do. Um, okay so I think we've got to approach this a little bit differently this game. Um, Trick Room's not bad here for us. I think Azumarill's probably our best bet to be a Perish Trapper. Drake Result does cause us a lot of issues though, in that respect. So, But I'd imagine they probably go Lapras. Although, if, it, if I was my opponent, I wouldn't. I would be bringing the Drake Result 100% of the time here. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll go Gothitelle, we'll go Azumarill, we'll go Scrafty, and do we need our second trap here? Goth Rita is probably good. I kind of want to bring uh, Marowak, Amoongus, and Goth Rita here. But I think we'll try it with these four. We'll see. Um, I think that the inclusion of Alola Marowak for myself might be enough for my opponent to, to like just think twice about bringing their Draco Zolt, potentially. And that's what we're kind of hoping for here. Um, and this kind of falls back onto the whole best of one concept because in a best of three they're going to be able to figure out what the best combination of Pokemon is. They've got all the tools really to uh, to be able to shut this down. And uh, they're making the, the, a nice lead here, a really nice lead. Now all they need to do really here is um, <laughs> Max with Drake Result um, and I'm pretty sure they've made the perfect lead against this here. Yeah, dog fighting. I mean, Gothitelle's going to be able to set up the Trick Room, for sure. Um, whether or not we want to bring in Scrafty, get an Intimidate off, proc the Eject button, um, and then get Azumarill back onto the field, uh, it's probably the best thing for us to do. Now, this is where Marowak would have come in incredibly strong, because we, we'd have the ability to, to uh, utilize, or at least kind of, pressure the Draco's ult into not going for the max lightnings at least but we'll see what it does um there's a wicked blow maybe they're doubling into gothitelle you know I want to prevent the trick room completely uh but i can't i can't see them leaving uh the azumarill alone because then that would allow them to get um oh they are they're going for it wow okay well, that's a nice play from my opponent. Once they want to get rid of the trap, they want to get rid of the trap. Thing is, this next turn is we can set a trick room up. Now things are getting very tricky for us here uh, because um, we can get a trick room up for sure. We can fake out the Ishifu, and that's one turn. But it's going to take us a little bit of time to get our. Um, a perish song up which is exactly what my opponent's doing like they're making all the right plays they've they've led super well and this is where maybe amoongus would have been a better play for us uh, in all honesty like if we had amoongus here we could then just redirect get a trick room set up then get something like azumarill out onto the field uh and then go from there so at least we got a trick room up now the thing is what we could potentially do is actually go for um, a Drain Punch into the Urshifu uh, and Ally Switch. Might not be a bad play um, because at least the, like this isn't generally what we want to be doing with a Perish Song team. We don't want to be going for damage. We don't want to be attacking um, really. 
we want to be stalling out our opponent and switching, protecting, doing all sorts of, of nasty stuff like that. So I think we do have the option here where we can try and get rid of Urshifu because Urshifu is such a, a pain. There's no way it's going to wicked blow into um, Scrafty. So I think either way, we're going to the ally switch here going to be a decent option for us because then we're going to be able to get rid of the Urshifu at least. There's a bold beak to be into Scrafty. Oh, into the Goth Gotharia. Okay. Um, and the Wicked Blot into Scrafty, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I think... Yeah, we're going to get Azumarill back onto the field. So, we do have the option now to go for... The Perish Song, if we want. We've got the option to go after Urshifu as well, if we want. Um, I think we'll take a Bolt Beak from the uh it's minus one is life orb though so we do have to be very careful around it um we do have the option funny enough to go max and play rough into the the direct result um which might not be a bad play you know uh, like we could do that and then bring in scrafty and then keep the trap and the the, the trick room for the late game. I think we're going to have to go down a different route. And I think this is the thing about Perish Song. You've got to be like open minded. Like if your original. Like your your game plan's very linear. You know what you've got to do. But I think in situations like this. With the problem Pokemon like Urshifu. Um, like we mentioned earlier. And, and Dynamax Pokemon. I think you've got to play it a little bit. Like on the cuff. On the fly. So you've got to try and. Um, take advantage of situations in the Pokemon that you've got in your team and hope that that is going to be enough for you to, uh, I guess, um, get rid of some Pokemon. Because if we can get my opponent down to their last two Pokemon and we've still got Azumarill intact and we've still got Scrafty and Gotharita, if we've got three Pokemon, we can win the Perish Zone uh, with the tools that we've got. We've got double fake out, so I mean... It's an option there. We'll see if my opponent maxes here, because that would be, yeah, that, that's um, what I imagined them to do. Now, with the Trick Room up, we're in not a bad position. I'm not too worried about the uh, the Urshifu right now. It's going to Wicked Blow, probably, the Goth Eater. Um, and you never know, because we've thrown the Ally Switch up already, it does throw a few mind games, like, across onto my opponent's side of the field. So, whether or not they target right here is another thing coming. I think the Ally Switch is something that you definitely say you could see coming out um but again it's not a guaranteed and you can see the power like azumarill in this team is not built to be doing damage it really isn't um <laughs> and you can tell by that there uh yeah they're going for the predicting the ally switch so they're going into the scrafty here um thankfully we've got the drain punch that we can take advantage of onto the ocean food maybe the next turn although they have got the ability to switch now we could double up into the, the Drake result this next turn. Um, they're doubling up into Scrafty slot, I think. Wicked blow, but we do take that just about. Okay. So the big thing here is we need to uh, preserve. We need to preserve Scrafty, which we can do, I think. Um, but we've got to, I think, go for the Starfall into the Drake result, and I think we've got to go Drain Punch into Urshifu. Now Urshifu might switch, might protect here. Um, let's see what they do. Um, and I think it's going to be a damage roll whether or not Starfall gets the Drake results here. I'm kind of in one in one respect. I'm like, okay, this is good to show like a different um, a different mode of uh, the Perish Song team. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I really wish we hadn't played this. But I mean, if you're going to play this team, this is the sort of stuff that you're going to come up against. Now and again, now you could argue that you could put a few more EVs into Azumarill for this sort of matchup. And this is what like fine-tuning teams really does. You know, you come up against things that give you a lot of difficulty uh, and you fine-tune them. Um, I think we take this. Yeah, yeah, just about, just about. Okay, and we'll get the Drake result the next turn. So we're not in any worry. We've got our... Um, We've got a citrus berry, so that's that's useful. I mean, a drain punch probably gets a Draco's odd. So whatever we do, we could maybe concentrate down on um, my opponent's Pokemon next to it. Lapras is going to be a bit of an issue if it comes in because obviously it does have freeze dry, so it will hit Azumarill for for super effective damage. We do have Scrafty, which can hit it for for good damage as well. It's going to be the Gothitelle. Okay, 
It's not, I mean, it's not the worst thing. Um, I could kind of cover my bases by going for uh, the Starfall into Draco's Alt and a Drain Punch into uh, Gothitelle. Because they, they could ally switch here, and that would help us get around the ally switch. Like I say, Drain Punch should get the Draco's Alt from this range. Um, like Scrafty is not something to scoff at. It's it's still going to be hitting hard. Stab, Drain Punch should be enough to get that Draco's Alt. I'd worry if it didn't. Um, they may max guard here, but I mean, it's not going to really do them any favors. They may max guard and then Trick Room. That could be the play that they go for. Um, and then they're in a great position going into this next turn. Um... Okay, they're just going to fake out. Okay, that's fine. That is, like, super fine. Um, now, what we want to do here is... I think we... Okay, the dimension turned back to normal. Not ideal for us. Like, in all honesty, not ideal. Uh, we can't switch either. But we do have... Okay, I think what we've got to do is... Uh, where are they going to target? Where are they going to target? Are they going to target the Azumarill? Because I kind of want to protect and go Drain Punch. And, like, if we can get the Drain Punch off, then I know Aqua Jet uh, should pick up the Knockout. Even if the Drain Punch doesn't. But the Drain Punch should get the Draco's ult here. Yeah, should have been keeping an eye on the Trick Room turns as well. I thought we had, like, one more turn rather than what we didn't. Now, my opponent probably makes a smart play and goes for uh, the Scrafty here, I'd imagine. <laughs> and there's the Ally Switch, so we're getting, we're getting our asses kicked. Oh, Scrafty avoids. Oh, they go after the Scrafty. I mean, that's nice. So we get a little bit of health back with Scrafty, which is going to be useful. Uh, they do target the Scrafty here. I don't think an Aqua Jet is going to be enough. Uh, that's the problem. And then if we if we lose Azumarill, then we lose our ability to um, our ability to perish song. Uh, now we could rely on. They don't really want to perish song right here because we're kind of putting ourselves in an awkward position. Kind of want to. I'm going to aqua jet and I'm going to drain punch again into that slot. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, like I say, I don't think aqua jet's going to be anywhere near enough to get. Okay, Gothitel going to protect here. I mean, if hustle comes in, uh, like this will win us the game here. If 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 hustle misses, see some not quite enough. Oh, beak! It does hit. Where are we going? Okay. Now we lose Azumarill, which isn't great. So we lose our Parish. Okay. Now what's my opponent's last Pokemon? We might might be able to do this. You never know. Like, the Gothitelle's got no way to hit Scrafty. We know that. Okay? So that's something we've got on our side, for sure. Um, it is Lapras. Okay. Is it weakness policy Lapras? That would make things a bit more trickier. Sure. I think we go. Uh, kind of want a trick room. <laughs> I did want a trick room because I think Scrafty needs a trick room support, and we could trick room and we could we could we could protect. But I don't want Scrafty taking any unnecessary damage here. And then if we can get a drain punch. Okay, that's perfect. If they trick room though, that's not the best for us. Let's see. I think they do trick room. To be honest, they probably trick room my trick room. No, they psychic. Okay, they're going after Gothrita. It's fine. They like do no damage. That's that's super fine. And we trick room. Now they're going to trick room on a trick room. I think. Um, thing is, I'd like to taunt the Gothitelle. Um, honestly, I might ally switch and go for a taunt into Gothitelle because I think like you either ally switch here, you try and trick room, and I think you try and trick room to reverse the trick room. So at least then Lapras is going to be hitting first. Um, it's going to be a long drawn out game though because we've got no way of of um, really damaging the Gothitelle without Drain Punch so that's the thing it's just getting Scrafty into a good position now where we can we can tank the hits from Lapras but if it is if it is weakness policy then it makes things a bit more difficult ok we're going to see ally switch ally switch fine we get the taunt into the Lapras so now we know it cannot protect so that's that's a good thing for us. Hydro pump coming out. It's gonna be into the goth. Oh no, it's gonna be in. Yeah, that's fine. You should take this. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now we've got to. Do we taunt again? Uh. Or do we? 
I mean, the Gothitelle can't really do too much. I mean, it can Psychic, but it can't really do too much. I'm going to Drain Punch into Lapras. Um, and I'm just going to protect Gotharita. So what you get for running Ally Switch, you get all these Ally Switch mind games. So yeah, we guess right. Okay, we're going to get some nice... Oh, wow, that's big, fat damage. That's what we like to see. Hopefully it's not a weakness policy proc. That's put us right back in this... <laughs> there we go. There it is. There it is, my friends. There it is. Okay. There's a psychic coming out into the protect. Are they going to predict? I think they're going to cover bases. Yeah, they're going to... Do we take this? I don't think plus two. We take this, you know. I think that's it. Yeah. Ah, that's a shame. We ally switch there. Which we probably should have. And that's game. That is game. I can't do anything. I don't have an attack and move on Gotharita. So we're just going to have to hit that forfeit button. But I mean, I think we did alright. We definitely had a win con there where we could have ally switched uh, that turn rather than protecting. But I, I wanted to play into the mind game rather than go for the straightforward play. Uh, and it didn't quite pay off for us, unfortunately. So I think from the lead... We did pretty well to get where we did in the game. It was more about, I think, in the end, preserving Azumarill. If we preserve Azumarill, we win that game, I think, all day. So, I mean, it's just one of those things. But it's a very fun team. I kind of want to keep playing with it, honestly. I have a lot of fun with Parish. So, um, I'm going to continue to to improve the team. So if I get it to a really good point in the next few weeks, um, I'll probably be playing it over on stream um, because I do I do believe in it. I do believe it's going to be a very strong mod to go forward with. And what can I get rid of? All these teams. I tell you what, I'm going to get rid of the Durant team for now and I will throw it up on my other cartridge. So do not worry about that. Uh, it will be down. I will post an update with the new code. So I will, I'm going to get rid of the Durant. Um, and then, like I say, we'll throw it up. All these teams will be slowly going down that we've put up over the last few weeks in place for new teams. So um, if there are particular teams that you really want to see uh, featured and kept so you can use them on the ladder and things like that, do let me know down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to transfer them over to my second Switch and I can upload them over there because we only get a certain number. Even if you've got two games, they're split between both games. So I don't know how that makes so much sense. Anyway, that's how Nintendo and Game Freak have done it, but hopefully that's improved for Gen 9. Anyway, there is the rental code. I'm gonna stop my rants. There is the team. I hope you have a lot of fun with it if you have a go with it, my friends. And uh, if you do, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Perish is a very good uh, a good build and a lot of fun and you'll have a lot of fun on the ladder with it. So have fun and uh, yeah, that wraps up today's episode, I think. So thank you again for tuning in. Like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it today. If you have, just drop that cheeky little like down on that like button down below. It really does help support the channel um, and you're all brilliant as it is. And like I say, if you're new, do hit the subscribe button as well. You'll get all the notifications for this sort of content as well as the other Pokemon content that we do here on the channel. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. And I'll see you all for another one very soon. So, until then, take care and bye-bye.